What's up guys? Today will be either Tokyo rigging or Jika rigging right off the bat. Um, I guess I'll do an eeny meeny miny mo. So eeny meeny miny mo catch a doggy by its toe. So this is a homemade Jika rig. I, I'm using Matsuo hooks right here. You can see the sickle hook style. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's homemade weights. All right. So I'm going to tie this on and I'm going to show you the good lure for Jika rigging fishing in the springtime for bass. Either for Tokyo rigging or Jika rigging. Okay. So let me tie it on and be right back at you. All right. So I have it tied on and we're going to be using two lures today. Both from Z-Man. And the reason why I like to use Z-Man products is because they float. And what's going to happen is when you have the Jika rig, let me just pull this up for you. So yeah, you have the Jika rig right here, right? Homemade one. All it was is a homemade weight that I use, a snap, and my Matsu hook, size 3 alt. And once you cast this out there, you know, it's going to be at the bottom like this. And because it's swinging like this, it's not actually attached. It's almost like a drop shot. The floating plastic is going to allow it to move all it needs to do. And all I do is twitch this very little bit in the bottom. And this lure is going to go crazy, going upwards. And because it's going like this, flowing up, right? Because it's like early spring, there should be still on beds. The bass should be still on beds. And it looks like a fish is eating the babies off the nest. All right. So let's let's give it a shot and see how much fish we pull out today. Let's take out the razor. Let's take a look at the razor shad for a second. You can see that it's segmented, so it's uh, it's gonna have a lot of action. You can see there is a slit here on the top and a slit in the bottom. So let's rig it. Let's just rig it. Let's see how it goes. Make sure it pull out right there. Might even add a little super glue to it if I want to. Look at that. It just fits right into there. Let's see, I want to get out right around there. So, ow, I touched it already. All right, look at that. The hook just sits right here. And because it's the Matsuo, it actually bends in just a little bit. I, I like it. It's kind of more weedless. And uh, let's see, because the sickle hook part right here, and the whole part right here, it actually have that angle right there. Let's see if it actually holds fish longer. Let's do it. Let's just see. The water temperature right now is 62 degrees in the morning. Oh, I see some movements there. Let's cast into those areas, see what's up. But uh, never know, man. These shallow water, that's where all those bass are hiding at. Let me adjust my camera on my chest. Let me set my drags. I always got to test the drag. Just uh, for you guys to know, I have my Cast King Megatron reel along with my Centron rod. 15 pound test braid and then I got 20 pound mono. And the reason why I have 20 pounds is because we have some big pickerels here. I don't want to cut, uh, cut my lure off. What you want to do is cast it pretty much into those stuff here. Twitch it out. And uh, yeah, let's go to town. This episode is not brought to you by Wild Walk Green Tea. It's brought to you by Jimmy Lee. This side looks promising. Just a little break in there. Oh, just get in the side. Oh, that's fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the chicken rig. All right. Hey, hey, easy. Easy. Easy, make sure there's nothing on the screen. Look at that, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Hooked them right in the rooftop. <laughs> All right, the chicken rig and the razor shad. There you go. Oh, came off. <laughs> Woo. Skipping underneath all those stuff. Gotta be the key. Got him this time. All right. Uh, second one landed. Look at that. Oh, oh. So you guys, what I like about these rigs is that you can change the weight very easily to set up right here. All you do is take the hook out, take the weight out. 
this is a quarter ounce. I don't think I've said it in the beginning of the video, but I'm gonna switch to an eighth ounce. I want it slower. I want everything to fall a little slower because I am fishing the shallows. And since it's floating, it actually makes everything drop even slower. So that's a technique that, um, you know, what finesse fishermen does. They use things that sink slow. And uh, let's see if we catch some more fish. So when you reinstall this, you put the weight on first, right? It makes it easier. And then when you take the hook, you gotta make sure the hook is facing upwards so that you actually set the hook the way you gotta be at the bottom. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm also gonna break this down for a second. Uh, Cause I'm gonna put on a small little lure. And man, guys, look at this head. It looks kind of like a snake head, to be honest. So there's two options I'm gonna go with. I either go with the this the TRD Minnow, which I think I'm gonna go first. And then I actually got a fluke style uh, from them. I forgot the name of it, but it's a shad color. And um, yeah, maybe we need some contrast, some some bright. But right now I'm just using my favorite color, green pumpkin. Green pumpkin is probably the best thing ever. If you guys ever ask me that question, if I could only fish one color, what it would be? Well, you got the answer, green pumpkin. All right, so got this here. Real line. Now this one is, doesn't look as much wheelless because it doesn't have that whatchamacallit, but uh, I guess I could bury it in just a little bit. There we go. Alright guys, so this lure is not as wheelless as the Razor Shed, so I'm taking it out. Thought I could have used it, it's a little bit more finesse, but I'm actually going to go back to my other one, the Razor Shad, because of the, the wheelless, um, the slits, the slits helps it the slits help me reduce the amount of algae I catch, so that means more time on the water. So back to this guy. Oh yeah. Is that a small guy? Woo. Yeah, I like the this fish a lot better. This bait. Keeps it weedless. I get under trees, get under the mucks. All right, not too bad. In it goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out for hitting a tree right here, Dave. The tree extends up to here. Your rudder and your, whatchamacallit, drive. Oh yeah. When I saw that line, I knew I had to fish on. Fish on. Jicker rig. Okay, okay. Yeah, those, those crappies are. Small guy, <laughs> but I felt them. Those crappies are not biting though. All right. Peace out. Oh yeah, got a nice one. That's what I'm talking about. Jika rigging. I almost got him by the eyeball, but I didn't. See that? Right below the eyeball. Oh, almost, almost got it, almost got it. There we go. All right, guys, I just pulled him out the, the branches, so he got a little thing, but there you go. This one lure actually lasted all day long, so I'm, I'm very satisfied about this lure. This Z-Man, the Razor Shad. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna re-rig this back up. To, Put it right back in position, and let's go catch some more. Oh, what did I get? Is that a catfish? Dude, that's a catfish. Dude, he smashed my Tokyo rig. Come on now. I thought I had the bass. All right, well. You hit it, so yeah. 
All right, all right, all right. Can I lip him? Uh, I can lip him, I guess. I got him. Ow, wow, you got some firm grip there, buddy. Firm handshake. This thing wasn't really hooked onto you. Well, wow, look at the mouth. Dude, Tokyo rig, baby. So guys, today was a tough fishing day. I didn't expect not to get that many fish. Uh, and that is likely because it's post-spawn. Uh, if I had thrown these all over the banks, and I mean, I did throw this all over the banks, right? And I have not caught that much big bass. So that just means that uh, the mamas are out, away from the shallows. And uh, yeah, it, it's, things slowed down. But I could guarantee you guys, if this was actually spawning and I was here last week using this thing, I would probably pull a lot more than using the Ned Rig because the Ned Rig was like what, a size four hook. And uh, yeah, I would have landed all those ones that actually dropped off. I always say this in my you know, videos and also hashtag it in my Instagram, the fish don't wait. And truly, the fish don't wait. You guys need to get out there and make the best out of it. But I'm telling you guys, regardless of whether it's spawning, post spawning, or even just your normal fishing, the Jika rig, and I'm so, apologize right now that uh, I didn't use the Tokyo rig because um, the Tokyo rig actually have a quarter ounce on, and I have a, as you see um, earlier, I swapped off my weight to a one eighth, and that's been doing me pretty good, I guess. But yeah, I'm hoping that uh, I'll use this a, quite, a few more times this season so that you guys actually see this. But if you guys want to see me use Tokyo rig instead of the Jika rig, you know, just leave me a comment below. I uh, thank you guys for watching as always. And uh, if you guys are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of uh, bass fishing, crappy fishing, pan fishing, snakehead fishing once in a while. That thing is so controversial that I sometimes don't like to put it on my channel. But uh, yeah, man, subscribe to my channel. Plenty of kayak fishing and you know, fishing from the bank videos. Peace out. <laughs>